time to sing and have some fun. We're gonna hear God's word before we're done. We're gonna dance. We're gonna shout. Hello, True Blessings. Another week of summer has gone by. I hope you've been squeezing every wonderful drop out of it. It's now time though for our big God story. And as you may remember, last week we learned a lot about King Josiah and how God's word has power. But before we get started, who do we need to help us? We need Hamilton, right? Do you guys remember how old Josiah was when he became king? He was eight. Let's count to eight and then call up Mr. Hamilton. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Hamilton, where are you? Hello, Hamilton. It's so good to see you today. I see you have something with you. Friends, do you know what this is? was something we talked about last week, right? It's a Bible. Is this your Bible? I love it, Hamilton. Friends, do you have a Bible at home? Well, we talked all about last week how God's word has power. And we talked about King Josiah, who became king when he was just eight years old. Well, one day King Josiah paid some men to clean up the temple. Hamilton, do you want to pretend to clean up your house? The temple was a place where God's people worshipped him. But something sad had happened. God's people forgot about him. They forgot about all the amazing things that God had done. And God's temple had become dirty. It needed to be cleaned and swept and repaired. Well, one day, one of the workers in the temple brought King Josiah something very special that had been found in the temple. Do you remember what that was? <gasps> it was, you're right, Hamilton, the Bible. It was God's word. The king's special helper opened the Bible and read it. Do you guys have a Bible at home? Maybe you want to go grab it right now. God's word has power. And power is something that's very, very strong. Can you guys all make really strong muscles with me? Here we go. Good muscles. Every time I say God's word has power, let's all make some big, strong muscles. Are you ready? God's word has power. Oh, good job, friends. Well, King Josiah listened to God's words. He understood God's words and that they have power. Good job. Well, God's words told the people about him and how much God loved them and how to obey him. But do you know what? Josiah's family, they didn't obey God. Can you guys make a sad face? And they didn't love God. Josiah's parents hadn't even loved God. Can you guys make a sad face? Yes. And that made Josiah very, very sad. Josiah wanted the people in his kingdom to know that God loved them and that God's word has power. Oh my goodness, Hamilton. Are you doing push-ups, sit-ups? Oh my goodness, look at you, you're so strong. Well, King Josiah called everyone to come together and he said come and hear God's words so everyone listened and they listened to Josiah read God's words and God's words told everyone all of the amazing promises God had made and they told everyone how to obey do you think they obeyed yes they obeyed because God's words have power. The people promised to love God and obey him, 
Let's all make big, happy faces. Well, Josiah and his friends listened to God's word and decided to obey him and worship him. Do you guys know why? Because God's word has power. Hamilton, what are you lifting up now? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. When we read God's word, when we read the big God story, we can learn more and more about God and his great love for us. And what's awesome about this story is that Josiah's entire life changed simply from reading God's word because God's word has power. Very good, friends. Hamilton, thanks for using all your amazing muscles in today's story. Well, friends, I hope you have an awesome week. I hope that you can spend some time with your families this morning talking about maybe some of your favorite stories from the Big God story, and maybe you can discuss ways in which you've seen God's power in your life. I love you all, and we'll see you next week for our Big God story. Goodbye.